against me. Then I did it. Is everything all right? Really be helping us out, Lewis. So, Mr. Fix-It, how's it looking? Like my husband always says, All right, everyone, quiet down, quiet down. I propose a toast to Lewis and his brilliant failure. May it lead to success in the future. Oh, um, well then, to Lewis. To what did he mean if he had a family? Orphan? Lewis! Run! <laughs> Are you boys all right? Lewis, it's okay. I'm really happy you're safe. What? Oh, that's just a bruise, Lewis. Oh, do you have to go now? I mean, you know, it's getting late. Uh, maybe, um, maybe Lewis could spend the night. Well, anytime you want to come over, you, you just come over. Truth is, we love having you. We no. No, you don't. You have to stay. I mean, Who'd be a better family for you than us? What do you say, Lewis? Do you want to be a Robinson? Or what have you done? How could you bring him here? Lewis, I, I am so sorry, but you have to go. You know what I said. Lewis, Lewis, look at me. You're, you're a great kid, and we would never do anything to hurt you. But I'm sorry. You have to go back to your own time. I'm calling your father. I promised what, mister? You're grounded till you die. Oh, Lewis, it's already happened. Have you hurt any broken bones? Oh, boy. Well, he... Wait, Lewis, one more thing. Just a little tip for the future. I am always right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. Oh, no. Sorry, mister. <laughs> Frankie, what if I told you about running away? My star pupil. My name's Franny, and I teach frogs music. Mm-hmm. You know that frogs have more musical ability than people, but uh, nobody believes me. They all think I'm crazy. You think I'm 